May Brown says that with the right amount of seasoning, just about anyone can sing gospel music. And in New Haven's own salt and pepper gospel singers, anyone does. We have the real uh, raspy um, voices of the peppers, if you would. And then we have a lot of the refined sounds that come from our salts. So when you put those two things together, you get a pretty unique sound. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Her youngest son, Chuck, is the group's musical director. My mom has five or six kids that she's raised, but you have thousands and thousands of kids in New Haven, in the Shoreline area, they call my mom, Ma. I'm originally from West Virginia. My dad was a choir master at our church, and we were forced to sing. We, we had no choice. Over their short three-year history, the salt and pepper gospel singers have performed in churches and concert halls, in soup kitchens and prisons. But money they do get goes to cover expenses. Many performances are for charity. There are 35 active members, doctors, construction workers, lawyers, students, teachers, you name it. Weekly rehearsals are on Monday nights, but by day, May has got a group of a different kind. For 16 years, preschoolers at Branford's Whitewood School had a very unique teacher. There are a lot of prospective salts in that class there. <laughs> Coming along. Did they know what they're in? No, no, no. I won't hit them with it yet. <laughs> For this is my story. May says she came to New Haven on her honeymoon and never left. Although her husband passed away last year, her music and her kids have kept her going. I think that's the message that we try to give to people wherever we go, that whatever the situation is today, it doesn't have to always stay that way. It can always change for the better. According to Salt and Pepper, as their fans in New Haven know, it's nothing to sneeze at. Newton Burke at Channel 3 Eyewitness News, New Haven. I love gospel music. 